mod menus. Pieces of software that allow us to make masterpieces push the limits of what's possible and trick the entire community for three years straight that you're the best player to ever grace the game. Okay, I think I went too far with that one. Mod menus are literally keeping the game alive. Look, even Rob's up agrees. But in the term mod menu, we often forget that at their core, mod menus are actually mod loaders. What is the difference you might ask? Well, continue watching to learn more. Alright, now that I've tanked my watch time by about 50%, let's get into it. What is a mod loader? Well, actually, I lied. Mod loaders are actually DLL injectors. What are DLL injectors? Well, they inject DLLs. DLL stands for Dynamic Length Library and are often used everywhere in Windows. You've probably seen them in these cannot find msvcp 140dll type errors. The term Microsoft Visual Redistributable has probably triggered a ton of viewers. DLLs are compiled pieces of code that are meant to be used in other programs system-wide. So how does this relate to mod loading? Well, we can inject DLLs into GD using DLL injection. If you took a time machine back to the 2016-ish era of GDM mods, you'd find that you have to download a program, most likely from Mediafire, and execute the program whenever you open GD to load a mod. Yes, one singular mod. With the amount of mods we have installed today, the amount of time it will take for us to painstakingly open every single mod for the game would be unbearable. So how come we don't do this today? Well, we can hijack a 1DLL that GD already loads because it's required for the game to open. We can add our mod loading code so GD kind of just does it for us. MGOSSE was one of the first modders to use this method all the way back in 2015 or 2016. In recent times, another form of mod loading has emerged. I could probably make a whole nother video about Geode, but here's the gist. Geode aims to be the next step forward when it comes to modding in GDE. It is currently available on Windows and Mac OS with some references to mobile coming later on. What's the difference between Geode and DLL injection? Well, Geode actually refuses to load DLLs outright by design. Here is the issue it is trying to solve. Let's say you have the mods Better Edit and Circle Tool installed. You will notice that the edit tab in the editor is completely empty. This is a result of what is known as a hook conflict. Both mods are modifying the exact same thing, in this case the edit tab, causing them to conflict, leaving it empty. According to the Geode website, with Geode you don't have to fear that two mods mysteriously don't work with each other. Geode comes with a wide range of tools for modders to ensure their mod is compatible with others with very simple and easy to refactor code. Geode also aims to simplify the mod development process with quote unquote sugary syntax. And compared to its traditional counterpart, the Geode version looks way cleaner and easier to maintain. Geode is currently still in development, but well known mods such as DD Share and more recently Better Info have been ported to Geode with more coming soon, most notably via MegaHack with its V8 release for 2.2. And that's it! That's how mod loading works in GD and how mod loading will work going forward. Let me know if you want a full video on Geode in the comments, including a more in depth explanation and maybe installation. Finally, thank you so much for the success of the last video. To be completely honest, it came out of nowhere and blew proportions I would have never even imagined. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.